Hello. So, I just wanted to come on here and just talk about my day. So, I wanted to come on here and talk about my day. I know I look rough. I know I look rough. I have been at home kind of lounging a bit. But... I don't care who this offend. I don't. I really don't care who this offend because at first I was just gonna brush it off, right? I was just, just suck it up and just keep it pushing and not entertain no type of bullshit. No type of bullshit. But after I yes. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm I'm going to entertain some bullshit, okay? So, as you all know, the twins' car has been down, right? Twins' car been down. I was originally told that it seemed like it's the fuel pump. But, um... I was saying fuel pump, but my father was saying fuel filter, right? So long story short, I go on Facebook. I go on Facebook and I make a status that I'm looking for who can do a fuel pump, right? So I have these different people reaching out to me. So I went ahead. I go out there and read them now. Yes. 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 Yes, my son. I'm on a live. Yes. What is that? This is, is this my bowl? Yes, ma'am. I get a bowl? Yes, ma'am. Is this meat in here? Yes, ma'am. I don't want it. You have to. No, it's not meat. It's like oxyotype. Okay. Thank Thank you. Thank you, baby. This is my bowl, right? Okay. I can't believe y'all actually brought me a bowl. What's up with y'all? Or is that really your bowl and you was bringing me, bringing it to me to taste? No, no, this is yours. But I know you saying you don't want it, so I'm just going to go ahead. You didn't blow it? I don't want to eat that. You gotta blow it. Yeah, you didn't know to blow it. I didn't think it was gonna be that hot still in the pot. I put it in my bowl and it went there, alright? You okay? Did you bring your tongue? No, ma'am. You're okay. If I bring my tongue, it'd still be hurting right now, right? Right. Okay, so. Yeah, he has gotten tall. He's playing basketball now. He thinks he's cool. But anyway, so. The young man pull up right now. Before he came, I asked him, how much do he charge? I asked him, how much does he charge to replace a fuel pump, right? He said $225 to $250. Is that cool? I said, okay, that's cool. So in my head, I'm like, okay, the max I'm finna pay him is $250, which it was kind of high for me, ain't gonna lie, because I had some other mechanics that had reached out and told me $200. But I had already decided to go with him, so I'm like, okay, if this is price, it's not too much more. Okay, cool, whatever, that's fine. I see that he's been recommended by, you know, somebody who's a real person, he's not a bot, you know, because I had a lot of bots reaching out to me, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So, boom, he gets here, right? As soon as he pull up outside, I'm saying my whole, my whole energy just changed from that point. From the, from the phone call that he made when he first called, my whole energy had shifted, which I was in a cool, vibrant mood. Anyway, he called and he say, um, the price probably going to be a little bit more, but I'll let you know. Whoa, wait a minute. 
He said, he said the price may be a little bit more if we have to drop the tank. But I'll let you know. Now I'm saying to myself, I done had a motherfucking fuel pump put on numerous times and I've never known it to be fixed any other way. I've always known for you to have to drop the tank. So I'm like, you're going to put an extra fee on it because you got to drop the tank. Motherfucker, you should already knew you was going to have to drop the tank. So that's how I'm thinking. You already know you're going to have to drop the tank. So I go outside. I'm like, what you what you talking about? You probably have to charge me more. I said, because you said, I said, because if you have to change the fuel pump, I thought you have to drop the tank to change the fuel pump. He said, no, you don't have to drop the tank to drop a fuel pump. Sometimes you can go in the back. I said, so you telling me, I said, so how much more are you saying that it's going to be? He said, I don't know, probably like, like $25, $30. I said, so now it went from $250, because I'm out of, anytime somebody say $225 to $250, 10 times out of 10, they're going to pick the highest price that they said, $250. So I'm, I already got $250 locked in. So now you're saying, okay, probably like $30, $25, $30. So now I'm locked in $30. So now I'm like, okay, so now you won't, it went from $250 to $280 because you got to drop the tank. Right? So, yeah. He looks up under the car. And he say, I'm, I'm, uh gonna change the fuel filter because he said the pump was coming on he's gonna change the fuel filter so it'll be cheaper i'm like okay so he go and get the fuel filter and he come back i said he put the filter on take him like five minutes to put this fuel filter on like five minutes right so i'm like how much i owe you this motherfucker said a hundred and twenty five dollars. You want a hundred and twenty five dollars for changing the fuel filter, right? So at this point, I really can't do shit because he not already put the part on my car. He not already put the, he already put this damn snap in ass piece on my on, on the car. So I really can't do nothing but give him what he asked for. But I'm trying to see how the fuck you come up. I'm trying to see why am I paying $125 just for you to change the fuel filter. So he gets to telling me that I'm paying him for his gas, for his diagnostic, his diagnostic. And he went and got the part. I'm like, how much is the part? He said the part was $10. The filter was $10. Okay. So he put the filter on. The car don't start. Car still ain't running. He said, well, you told me that's... He said, you told me that that's what it needed. And I just changed the part. And then and it ain't working. I just did what you told me to do. I said, no, I... He said, I just did what you told me to do. Okay. Okay. So even if, even if that's the point, even if you did what... I told you to, if you change what I told you to change, which we agree, we started off with you changing a fuel pump. And then I told you, then I went back and told him, now I need you to just change the fuel filter. Because I said, I, I told him, when I first talked to him, I said, no, I got the word wrong. I said, I told you to change the fuel pump, but my father said that you need to change the fuel filter. He told me that I couldn't change the fuel filter without changing the fuel pump that i have to change both that i can't do both so when he told me that he was going to change the fuel filter it was kind of strange it was kind of strange because you told me that you had to do both of them but now that you're here you finna just go ahead and do the filter part and then the filter part wind up being 125 okay so boom we're gonna leave it alone right so you say you charging me you're charging me for travel the part, the and a diagnostic, right? You said a diagnostic means a diagnostic to my knowledge is when you tell me what is wrong with the car, right? Ain't this what a diagnostic is? When you tell me what's wrong with the car. 
So, you done put the filter on and the car still ain't working. So, technically, I have still paid you for you to tell me what the fuck is wrong with the car, right? Haven't I paid you to tell me what's wrong with the car? Because you, you, I, because you charged me for a diagnostic. This was, this was included in this 125, right? He get to looking through the car. I, after he said he done this 125, I said, well, did you drive the car? Did you drive the car to see if it's working, if it's running right? Did you? He like, no, I ain't driving it. I'm like, okay, well, I need you. I said, well, go ahead and take it for a spin then. I said, take it for a spin so I can see and make sure, you know, everything working. They can't get the car to start. Right? So as they, they, they come back around and start looking at the car, this man tells me that the heads are blown in the car. He says that the water is mixing with the oil, something about a milky substance, X, Y, and Z. So I'm like, damn, now you saying that the heads are blown in the car. I said, okay, I'm, I'm finna just pay this motherfucker. And, and get somebody else over here. So, I pay him, right? I pay him. He leaves. I'm furious now. Because now I'm out of $120. And still no working car. So, what I do? Boom. My slow ass. I'm on Facebook. I am I go on Facebook. I'm like, it's times like this that I, that I hate that I don't have a husband. Because I hate when men get over on women, right? So, his girlfriend see the status. His girlfriend see the status. Here this hoe go coming up under my, my thing. How he cheat you out your money? Let's talk about it, boo. I told her, hoe, I want to talk to motherfuckers who relevant. And you ain't you ain't motherfucking relevant because you ain't looked at nail, screw, bolt, stern, wheel, or carpet mat, hoe. <laughs> you ain't looked at shit. Or, I, I, I don't have to address you. This ain't you. Ooh, see? Okay, so I saw it, right? So I didn't respond. I just blocked her. I just blocked her because I said I was not going to feed into the bullshit, okay? I was going to let him and his little bossed up chick, whoever I guess she's supposed to be like his fucking spokesperson, I was going to let them have it, right? I'm going to let them have it. So y'all know I had paid my mechanic previously and me and him got into it. But I had to put my big girl drawers on and call him because he's the only person that I trust or I know that knows what the fuck they're doing. So I call him. I'm like, you need to give me my money back. Da, da, da. And anyway, long story short, we wound up talking. You know, I apologize. He apologized. And, you know, we wound up having a, doing a lot of catching up. He's actually like a long time friend. But anyway, um, he comes over, y'all. He comes out. He looks at the fucking car, y'all. Right? He looks at the car. Now, these men just told me. These men who I just gave $125 to just told me that the head gaskets are blown in this truck. I mean, this car, right? My friend got to look at the car and say, Bling any gas in this motherfucker? I said, I don't know. My son's on, on half a tank. It's showing a half a tank on the dash. He said he hit something. And ain't no gas coming through, but he heard the pump coming on. I said, yeah, they told me they heard the pump coming on, too. He said, Bling, I think you just need some gas. I said, Ford, you ain't been telling me that car just need no gas. You ain't been telling me that's all that car needed some gas for. You ain't been telling me that. He said, B? I can't see it being anything else. So I go and find a gas tank. We ride to the store. I get two gallons. Two gallons. We come back, put the motherfucking gas in the car. 
And this bitch is back on the road. So you telling me? <laughs> you telling me? That I just gave this motherfucker a hundred and twenty motherfucking. This is a lot of cursing on this line. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. This is a lot of cursing on this line. I just gave this motherfucker one twenty. So not only did not only did one twenty five. Not only did you charge me. But no, the one who the one who got me some gas is a whole nother mechanic, okay? So not only did you charge me one twenty five for a, a, a fuel filter, your gas, your labor, and a diagnostic. I done paid you for the wrong diagnostic, how? I didn't bid you. I didn't pay you for it. But here your hoe is. All on my status. Let's talk about it, boo. Let's talk. Yeah, I, I, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because from my understanding, baby, y'all yo, man needs to find something else to do. He needs to find something else to do. That ain't his calling. That's not his calling. Anytime you say... That the car needs new heads. And the car needed gas. <laughs> and then you have another little fella vouching for you. Like, like, like what you <sighs> But like I said, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say no names. I ain't gonna tag nobody. But that's how my day went, y'all. I I'm, I literally paid $120 for a fuel filter this morning. And the wrong diagnostic. And all the car needed was some fucking gas. Because the gas hand is broke. I'm not saying that the fuel filter didn't play a part. I'm not saying that the fuel filter... I'm not saying that the fuel filter probably one clogged or something. Because the fuel filter was nasty. It was very nasty. But what that tells me is you out here charging people like you really know what you're doing and you don't. That's what that's telling me. I think you should stick to oil changes, tune-ups, and car washes. That's what you should do. And far as a fuel pump, if you know... If you know that the price, if you know that the price would go up if you have to drop the tank, drop the tank. You just hold me there over the phone. I could have stopped you right there. You would have never even made it to my door. I could have stopped you right there before you even got over here. But you brought your happy head ass on over here and wait till you got here to say the price may go up. See, that's what I'm saying. I I hate when men try to target women anytime it's something dealing with a car but i'm finna quit doing it i would rather it don't even matter it don't matter if you pick a shade tree it don't matter if you go to a shop it don't matter they do us like that every fucking where we go everywhere we go and i and i, and I really hate that and we have to deal with it that they look at us as targets because that's how i felt today i felt targeted I felt targeted. I think I, I I guess because I said yes to your price so easily. Now, if that had been a dude and he would have been like, no, nah, man, come on, do it for the two. Or come on, do it for the 185. You know, maybe you would have been more, I don't know, team him. But when you see us women who don't have no problem with paying for what we want, y'all just try to get as much as you can. So, yeah, I feel some type of way. Because what if I would have said, okay, well, yeah, go ahead and change the heads. Now, I'm finna pay you however much that that is for you to get get around and play around with that to find out this motherfucker just needs some gas i'm just i'm 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 really upset about that i really am i'm upset about that but at the same time i'm happy that the car is running because now some of this stuff can come up off me 
Now this can come up off of me. All this, I don't have to take the twins to school. I don't have to pick them up from school. I don't have to take them to work. Now all I have to worry about are the other four children. Getting them to school, picking them up, basketball practice, and back, and I'm done for the rest of the day. So, but at the same time, y'all, I am out of $325 total. $325 total when all the car needed was a $10 fuel filter and some fucking gas you said why not say the name it is a listener and a valuable listener I see the kids and buy me some soup so as you all know, I have decided to do my lockdown one more weekend. So I'm getting ready to do a lockdown. And then after this weekend, I'm going to go to every other weekend. No, I didn't get the gas hand fixed. I'm just, like I said, I think I'm going to get them something else. Um, so, yeah, I, that, that was a huge mistake. But, um. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting them something else. So I think I'm just going to teach them how to count the miles. You know, probably see how many um, miles the car gets per gallon. See how many gallons they put in and just start the odometer over and count the miles. That's something I can think of right now. Because at this point, I'm not putting nothing else into that car. I'm not putting no more money into that car. I'm not, I'm not even finna... No. And then I was thinking about going to the club tonight by myself. But I don't know. I slick don't want to get ready. I don't know. It's like I want to go to the club for a little while, but then I kind of don't want to go to the club. If I do go to the club, I think I'm going to go. I thought the gas hand comes with the floater that's on the fuel pump. But I really would like to go to the club probably like about nine. Cause this club here be so packed and it be so smoky. It's a nice hole in the wall. Very smoky, a lot of chicken wings. And very smoky a room with whiskey and chicken wings. But um I would like to get there like probably like around nine and then leave like at midnight. Like right when it starts getting like extremely crowded, I'll leave around that time. But I don't know. It's so many women been coming up missing in the city. Lord have mercy. It's so many people. So many women. Women. I don't know why my internet is acting stupid. But after the after the boat ride, they come find them. Her her body just got found. This man was it yesterday. You know, two days. Friends were saying that she didn't even get on the boat. Then they were saying there's a lot going on where this baby had came up. Miss got kidnapped yesterday. She was last. So this way about my own city. Like everybody always say, Bling, why do you be like that about that? Talk about your city like that. You're supposed to be representing Memphis. Don't give me I love representing Memphis. I do because I am a, from Memphis. But do I want to live in Memphis? I don't. I do not. I do not. I do not want to be here. I do not want to be here. I don't. I love my people, but I got to keep away from my people. They lied. They told the cousin they couldn't find her, but told the mom she never got on the boat. Then the man told the cops he seen her. Right. Getting off the boat together. Yeah, it was a whole bunch of stuff about, um, it's, it, it was a whole bunch of stuff going on about the girl with that boat, and then her body just got washed up. Like, it's, you gotta be careful. And you right, I am. I, and I have noticed that I have been getting, like, a lot of recognition from a lot of people in the city. Like, when I say recognition, meaning, like, a lot of people have noticed me, like, have, you know, know who I am. Like, and I'm not saying it to be cocky or boastful or anything, but I have... I've been like going out to a different and have a lot of random people walk up. I'm I'm not, you know, like hey, how you? Just 
kind of careful because not everybody are Lady Bling supporters. You know, some people don't like me, especially men. It's a lot of men feel like I'm just this huge, super duper one, um, you know, male basher that I just <laughs> down every every person with a penis. They feel like I just just you know look at them as the scum of the earth and so i have to be mindful of that because i did have a situation where i went out to a club and i was like around a whole bunch of guys and they were kind of like you know on some other stuff they said she went to the bathroom and never came out but why they ain't gonna look for her right and the real memphian's gone go get something to drink get comfortable and kick it with us it's been a while since we had a drink together <laughs> <laughs> do you got protection mace knife do something if not get you some girl i got i got more than me i ain't got all that i got some make a motherfucker bad i got some shit gonna make a motherfucker lay down i got that i got something make a motherfucker lay down but do i want to make a motherfucker lay down i don't but i will i don't want to but i will i don't want that on my conscience I don't want to on my conscience, but I'll lay a motherfucker down if I got to. Now, you put me in, you bag me up in the corner now. Or take me too fast. Yeah, it's going to lay down. I'm not, I, if it's between me and you, it's going to be you. I'm going to say that. It's going to be you. You may have to invest in second bling. Love you. Love you too. Sometimes you just want a different scenery. I feel you be cautious and limited to only speak to. I don't think I'm going to do nothing though. Cause that mean I have to put my eyelashes on. I have to try to bring old girl back to life, and I'm kind of lifting over here, so I ain't got time. I ain't got time for real, like. I'm skinny looking. I don't even know why, cause I'm gaining my weight back. I weighed myself today. I gained another three pounds. I gained three more pounds. Like, oh my god. I started off at 2.46. Okay, I started off at 2.46. Then I dropped down to 2.39. And then I went up a pound to 2.40. And now I'm 2.43. Like, oh my god. I'm not taking this serious. That's what it is. I'm not taking it serious. And it shows. It shows this freaking surgery is November the 14th and I've gained three pounds. Okay. And I need to be 220. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm eating milkshakes. Like I eat a milkshake every day. It's really consuming me. I just ate one, like, <laughs> I just ate, I just ate a milkshake, like, not even 10 minutes ago, but I did. I started off good, I ate an orange for breakfast, I had a salad, and then when we went to get the gas, I was like, hey, buddy, are you hungry? <laughs> it's like, I could use a Subway. I was like, okay, well, how much is for me over here to get a milkshake? So he wound up not even getting the subway and he wound up getting a milkshake with me. Hey did I got a sneaker so you don't want this new booty, huh? I do want my booty. I just want my booty. She don't want her new booty. Don't do that. Don't 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 do that, Mark Kayla. No. I did only go to the gym one time this week though. Yeah, I'm finna get right. Real talk, man. This is this this heat after this weekend <laughs> after this weekend man monday i'm going full raw vegan i'm going full raw vegan man real talk man it's a hey moon pal. hey y'all real talk man i'm going full vegan i'm only eating Oh, fruits and vegetables. I don't even want them cooked. I can't be none cooked. None out the can, none frozen. Raw veganism.
I'm gonna do that for <laughs> a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna pick a day. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna commit. I'm, I'm gonna commit. Look, happy heart. You're not helping me. Try the pumpkin pie <laughs> spice. <laughs> Try the pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice witches milkshake at Jack in the Box. We don't even have a Jack in the Box, do we? We don't have a Jack in the Box here. I used to see them all the time in Florida and in Texas, but they're not here. Are you measuring yourself? I'm not. Don't do that, Miss T. She gonna say, we'll wait and watch. Why vegan, though? Because I like the I like what my body feels when I cut meat out. Like, I know it's a difference in a lot of things. Like, when I don't eat meat. Did you see my nails? Like, I, I notice a lot of different things. Like, for one, I don't have anal itching. Like... What? I don't. I have, like, me, if I go and poop, I have to take a bath. Like, I have to take a bath. Even if I can't take a full bath, like, I would have to, I have to get over in the shower, get soap, towel, lather, rinse, lather, rinse, and change my undies. And then go on about my day. Like how some people can go in there and poop and just wipe and just get up and go. If I do that, my ass would eat. <laughs> Tia, I'll wash my butt. I cannot do it. I just cannot. I, I, I can't. And, and now I'm so accustomed to it to where now I can't even. There is no such thing as me taking a poop without getting a shower. Have you ever noticed that I take a shower after every poop? Or like I like I have a ass towel. I don't know, but you. Mean I have like a I have like an ass towel. And I have an ass towel in my bathroom. Like I have an ass towel just to specifically dry my ass. Please don't dry your hands on my towels. Oh, oh. I hope you haven't been drawing your hand on the towel hanging on the door and there, have you? I put paper towels in there for a reason. You're supposed to dry your hands with the paper towels. Don't fuck with the towels. Just hanging on the door. Okay? Ever. You need to get them labeled. Uh, <laughs> 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 you need to get them labeled. I need to label them? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I mean, it's always used to dry clean ass though. So okay, exactly. So it's, it's, it's Mom, never like... Towel. Yeah, my so, butt towel. Yeah, so other people can know it's used to dry and clean butt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Yes, but. Um. Yes. No. So. What? <laughs> so. <laughs> so like with that being said, with that being said, um, when I. I don't itch. Like, it's parasites in me that that causes me to have like an extreme anal itch. So, the question was, why do I want to do vegan? And that's the answer. I still, it's worth it. And they like TMI. Get off her DM. Somebody has wiped their whole face with the towel. With it. See, I told them don't come in my trailer. Like, no, I. I I hope ain't nobody stupid enough to go wipe their face in your bathroom. Any short nails available for the sale? Well, these do come in short, but they only come in short square. Which, I'm going to keep adding them. Say, hey, you went to the ass washing. We just following along. 
vegan is a challenge and you know what vegetarian is easier because it's hard for me to um let go of cheese and ranch I mean, you said right i make a parasite cleanse for that yeah see i need that i need that and i think before i kick off whatever this is we're going to do start monday i'm gonna do it for real i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it yeah, I heard right. and my friend <clears throat> forward y'all gotta meet forward Ford is the one who put the gas in the car. He is friends. And he said that he's going to put me in like this little boot camp where he's going to help me figure out a workout regimen for myself. Because I told him what I be doing. Like, I was like, I be on the bike and I be getting on the elliptical. And he like, nah, I be your bullshit. That ain't how you be doing some push-ups and some sit-ups. And that's how he talk. You need to be doing some push-ups and some sit-ups, man. And da 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 And he's like, I'll go with you because I want to get back into shape too. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm like, okay. He's like, I ain't going to show no mercy on you. I'm like, I'm scared. What's on the internet here? The can the mechanic we met before is it for for productions? Yeah, he was saying I gotta do more than what I'm doing. He was like, "What I'm doing ain't really nothing." He was like, "You over there trying to walk for three days, and I need to be trying to do some push ups." So we're gonna see how this goes. They said, "Just go ahead and put the gym clothes, go party in the treadmill." Oh my god. My friend lost weight eating hot wings, salad, and walking three miles a day. Her weight fell off. Hot wings? Mm-hmm. But I do a lot of cardio when I go to the gym. Because, like, that's my biggest thing. I, I want to make sure my heart is strong. I really want to make sure my heart is strong for the surgery. With this surgery, I just want to live. Like, that's, that's all I can think about. I just want to live. I'm I don't i am not afraid of the pain. I don't care about how bad it's gonna hurt because I know all that is temporary. I just want to wake up. That's that's my biggest concern. I wanna make sure I'm healthy. I've been taking my vitamins every day. They told me to take these every day to get ready. These Florid Floridix tap yeah, Floridix tablets. It um, contains iron, vitamins B1, B2, niacin, B6, B12, vitamin C, folic acid, and herbal extracts. Extracts. Yeah. So I've been taking these every day. Damn, it don't look like I've been taking shit because I ain't for two missing. But... <laughs> Give me a give me a water, man. Just don't even. I just got the hell up and had these things. It gotta be one popped out another pack. Gotta be. Yeah, so you got one missing right there. Look at one. Look, man. Look, man. We're gonna start Monday, man. Look, don't even worry about all that. Look, let's let's let's, let's quit talking about it. Let's get all these vitamins. How about that? You might buy me that shoe. I got to do right, y'all. I done gave these folks almost $10,000, man. I can't be playing. I'm playing, man. I'm lying to myself. I got to lose 20 pounds. I got to do it. I'm going to set on the law. Vitamin C in there. I got to lose 20 pounds, man. I got to get for real. I have my time every day. I'm getting closer and closer. I leave November 14th. And it's going to be October next week. I have to lose 20 pounds. I have to. I, I don't have a choice. I got to do this. Are you trying to convince me or yourself? I'm going to do this. Because I don't have a choice. You don't. If you want this booty. Right. If I want to be snatched, I'm going to have to do my part. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. I, I think I need to fast. Like, I, I don't know, just don't even want to eat it all. Can I just eat a day and skip a day? Eat a day, skip a day? 
But when you go to the gym, like, can't you gain weight and muscle weight? Mm-hmm. You know? Because maybe you ain't. I don't want to gain weight and muscle weight. But I'm saying you working. That's what's going to happen, ain't it? I don't know. I have been doing, like, some weightlifting. And your BMI don't calculate muscle weight. It don't? Mm-mm. That's why people say it's really not always accurate. Bling, I'm made up kind of like you, but I'm going to try to work out first. Made up like you, but I'm gonna try to work out first. Miss <laughs> 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 I say just cut the milkshake. Yeah, I want to lose 20, 25 pounds too. I'm with, I had she said, I promise I made up just like you, girl. I have to lose this weight because I can't get my money back. I have no choice. I have to like truly buckle down, like for real. We're gonna start Monday. Like, I'm so serious. I'm dead. I'm so serious. If I don't follow through through the first week, I want y'all to unsubscribe for one week and then come back and subscribe. <laughs> if I don't follow through, she's going to follow. Y'all unsubscribe. You're going to follow and then through because come you want back to so buy. y'all can and I can see my numbers going down like, oh my God, they, 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 they saying they punishing me. Let me get back right and then y'all come right back. So you gotta lose followers to do right. I gotta lose followers to do right. That's sad. I mean, you don't want this one for real. I'm gonna do it though. Cause I ain't finna lose my YouTube fame. I ain't finna do that. I ain't finna do that. I wouldn't do nothing. To lose out. I'm finna do it. I'm finna do it. On my first my fact, let's just wait till after the lockdown. You we gonna talk that? Yeah, you figure it out. I was thinking about going to the club, but my it, look my look at that. It keep doing that. Yeah. Why is she looking like that? <laughs> I don't feel like fixing it. We just need to take it off and do the whole thing. Mm-mm. I don't wanna take it off. She's <laughs> gonna take the whole wig off. Uh-uh. The whole wig is sliding back. On the side. And then your edges is for one her style dick. You ain't even got your head no more. So we just now just fixed it. And then you just why are you Look. why you like that for real? I am peeling. I am peeling, you guys. And yeah. But I can't even see it because it's don't feel it run on the hands. Your wig still ain't came. I changed my appointment to October. It's a, oh, not Moon Pie getting upset. That's your baby. She don't want you to go lock down. I'm, I ain't stand up. She, she said she here to get her last little hour in with me. And then she's going to leave. And I told you I am not accepting phone calls this time. So is there anything you need to tell me before you leave? Um... I'm going to the movies tomorrow. Okay, you're going to the movies tomorrow with who? Um, it don't matter. He's irrelevant. I'm so sorry. You're you're irrelevant. If you see this, you're irrelevant, and I really care. Thank you for taking me out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be saying You don't know who watching this show. What's wrong with you? I forgot. So you going to the movies tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to the movies tomorrow with someone. Mm -hmm. And then, and that's really about it. That's all. That's about it. But yeah. if something else happens, how am I supposed to let you know? I will give you guys a special password to use when it is emergency. It has to be life or death. But me going somewhere is not emergency. And no, that's right. <clears throat> so that means you can't go. Wherever you want to go, you have to ask right now to go ahead and get your yeses and noes for the weekend. And after that, if you didn't get your question in today, it's, it's over with. Just let me know. <laughs> just, just, just let me know. Who made Moonpay? 
ain't Moon Pie mad. Why you asking Moon Pie mad? She's not mad. Are you mad, Moon Pie? Uh, should I go to the club? Or should I just sit here and chill and relax? You should go to the club. Can you just make this lay down? Do we have to take the wig off? Can we just make this? Can we hide this? Let me. What? Where if I put a headband on? Just spray it. Spray it with the got to be glue and put the band on. Pull it out. I've been doing it. Did you put the band on for an hour? You need, to, you need to clean. You need to come on. She said, I thought she said her boo was irrelevant. Stay home. Too much going on out there. She need to I get need out. I need to stay she home. She had no sport. I'm sure it was on lockdown last weekend, but I enjoyed my lockdown. I like it. I'm excited about it. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I'm going to go ahead and take my little candlelight shower. She's so funny. And I finally finished this purse. I need to go ahead and get this purse packed up. I need that box from over there so I can send her this bag. Because this lady been asked for this bag for so long. I should do her a special bag since she's been waiting a long time for that bag. I was thinking about doing her like a little matching bag. Or maybe adding her maybe some red nails to go with it or something. Maybe some red bling nails. I think that'll be yeah <clears throat> for her weight mm -hmm. yeah she's the only she the only person left her and cc and miss brown miss brown purse so i got two crossbodies and some wallets The three day military wait. Try the three day military diet. I promise it works. I lost weight big time with it. Tell me more. And Bling, you got your passport yet, nigga? If not, I don't. The military puts you on a take diet. a few flights. But you know what? I want to do this so bad. I want to go out of the country by myself so bad. Thank you, Miss Jones. You need to get the name because they are ripping people off. Okay. I ch I thought about the low carbs and counting the calories and stuff, but I just I just it just seemed like too much work, Miss Davis. <clears throat> Love you too, Miss Doug. I don't know. I'm uh, I slick don't want to go though. I'm slick ready to clean up my trailer, take me a candlelight shower. I don't think I don't like, I like, I haven't dumped my tanks yet because I like to go ahead and dump my tanks so I don't have no reason to come outside. Dump my poop tank, dump my shower tank, and go to the grocery store, have all my little, you know, waters and beers because y'all said we're going to start Monday. So that means I can go and give me a few little Coronas with a little bit of salt. Do y'all see how y'all are sending these live? Her meal plans and give her ideas, and she's saying her talking about going to get a crumb. Okay, let's not talk about that. The three day military diet. Let's talk about it. Use my fitness pal, it's great. People that were having heart surgery were given their diet to lose weight fast before surgery. Okay, you happy heart? Spill the tea, spill the tea, spill the tea. Tell us about the three-day military diet. They put you on a diet in the military. What is the military diet? Yeah, what is this? Yeah, I know these fingers still. Oh, these make like my fingers look skinny though, don't they? Like, keep playing with me. Like, ah, okay. Just, I just had a moment. Okay, but come on. Hi, y'all. Stay in the house, don't get music and chill, girl. Cabbage soup diet. I have. Why have I heard of the cabbage soup diet? I've heard. Kayla's shaking, y'all. Do not go out of the country alone. It's too dangerous out there. And you know, we people of color don't go out of the country alone, baby girl. I'm just saying, a lot of people doing it. <clears throat> like, they have a lot of dope packages um, to go out of the country on Groupon. Yeah. 
You can go to Egypt for like a week for like fifteen hundred. But they got all different countries with packages with the flight and the hotel and everything on Groupon. Like for a whole bunch of different countries from Iceland to Tokyo. Fasting. Now, I know fasting work. I know fasting work. That's my go-to. Fasting is my go-to. Yeah, I've gone vegan before, but I'm thinking about doing a raw vegan next week but i always do this and i can't never be i need i need some accountability partners it's too dangerous they used to put patients on the cabbage soup diet before surgery how do you even make cabbage soup do you, are you just only eating cabbage like what is a as a gm rat y'all making my muscles quiver with the fat diets good for you food is it with the fat diets good for you food tastes fire just find recipes that you like I'm still waiting on Happy Heart. I'm assuming maybe she's just ta just typing because I'm really curious to know what this military diet is. What a military diet. Because at this point, I'm just... I'm sorry. I, I forgot, Miss Sanders. I did. You said, I didn't contact you about the fasting with prayer. I need to do a whole like little video talking about fasting with prayer. Do not go out the country by yourself. It's too dangerous, and I would love to see you come back home safe and sound. Okay, Miss Anders. No promises, but <clears throat> I am taking it into consideration. Oh, I don't like you, Milton. I don't like you. Bread, bread, rice, applesauce, toast. What? Bread, rice, two starches, three starches, applesauce, toast. Uh, bread and toast is the same thing. Men of God need love too. Milton, that is a child. So get your perverted ass. Off my life. She is 12. <laughs> Men of God. You get your ass on. You making me have to hit my vape. <laughs> Y'all ain't Correction. Banana. Rice. Apples. B banana, rice, apples, toast. It's the bread diet. Find some stirs and run up and down. <laughs> the cabbage is boiled with carrots, onions, all. All veggies. Google it, bling. It seems interesting. You know what I'm saying? Google it. You got your phone. Google it because Happy Heart going to come on here and talk about the military diet and then just disappear. I don't know. She didn't. What's up with you, Happy Heart? Don't y'all say nothing about this vape. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Even though I still be wanting my cigarettes, I'm getting it's better. A, the three-day military diet is a three-day weight loss diet that can help you lose 10 pounds in a week. What? Let me see. Let me give me that. Okay, let's talk about this military diet. <clears throat> the three-day three military diet is a three-day weight loss diet that can help you lose 10 pounds in a week. You follow the military diet plan for three days per week and then take four days off per week. You can do the diet over and over every week again until you reach your weight loss, weight loss goal. Can you substitute on the military diet? What is the military diet? Okay, that, what is it? Okay, day one, you're going to eat 
For breakfast, you're going to eat a piece of toast, <laughs> a grapefruit, and some coffee. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and put y'all on the, on the screen. Okay. Day one, you're going to eat some toast, grapefruit, and some coffee. For lunch, you're going to have a can of tuna, some toast, and some coffee. For dinner, you can have some steak. What the like some green beans? What the meal? What the meal? Green beans, apple, bananas. That's some ice cream. Or some yogurt or something. 1,500 calories. And then black coffee only. Day two, you can have an egg, banana, and toast. What is that? Is that rice? Mm -hmm. It's kind of coming like the bread thing, ain't it? What is this? What is this? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like cottage cheese. Mm. It kind of look like cottage cheese. Oh, hell no. I don't eat that. See, I don't want... <laughs> 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 okay, y'all can screenshot the three day. I don't want no kind of cheese, but I see they do got a lot of toast <clears throat> and all black cock. No, it's not. No, it's not. She gonna say cottage cheese fried with pineapple. No, <clears throat> no, it's not. Mm -mm. Okay, but I mean. It seems doable. <laughs> it seems doable. I don't know. I don't know. Just a toast, grapefruit, and a cup of black coffee. Then another cup of black coffee for lunch. Toast. Some tuna. We also have vegetarian and vegan version of the military diet. In this, you can download the PDF of the military diet and shopping list. A half a cup of tuna. So you don't even get the full tuna. You get a half a cup. See, now I see the list down here. You get a half a cup of tuna, one slice of toast, one coffee or tea with caffeine. Dinner, three ounces of any type of meat, a cup of green beans, a half banana, one small apple, and one cup of vanilla ice cream. Breakfast, egg, slice of toast, half a banana. One cup of cottage cheese. Ugh, that lunch is, this, is just so nasty. That's what they're going to be feeding us in the military because I don't want to go. Uh-huh. That's what they're going to be feeding us in the military because I don't want to go to <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because they think I'm going to be eating and a slice of toast and a banana for breakfast. That's not gonna work. It might. You they can do it. Day two, one egg, a slice of toast, a half a banana, one cup of cottage cheese, a hot boiled egg, five saltine crackers. What? Dinner, two hot dogs without bun. One cup of broccoli. A half a cup of carrots, half a banana, a half a cup of vanilla ice cream. JT Jones said that's not what they feed in the military. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Saltine crackers, slice of cheddar cheese, a small apple. JT Jones said he did 20 years in the Air Force. The, the military make you get up at 3 or 4 in the morning and run. My dad was in the Army. <laughs> hot dogs. Right. I do not like hot dogs either. Or hard boiled egg. Or cooked however you like. One slice of toast, one cup of tuna. <laughs> Half a banana. Yeah, leave them hot dogs alone. All right, somebody said, look up the um cabbage soup recipe. Let's check out the cabbage soup. Those combos have you on the toilet may work off. Check out my Fitness Pal app. It's easy. I used it before my surgery. What type of surgery did you have?
like I would rather just fast. For me, fasting is just way more easy. I really would like to just juice. The cabbage diet got. I just see the ingredients. You got cabbage, parsley, onion, lemon, garlic, diced tomatoes, salt, pepper, herbs. I see celery, carrot, vegetable broth, olive oil. Cabbage soup, can of tomato sauce. What? Cabbage, onion, add cooked chicken or hamburger meat if you like. You did the cabbage soup. It worked. Okay, so when you're doing the so when you're doing the cabbage soup, how often are you eating the cabbage soup? You're gonna be using the bathroom a lot. How often are you eating the soup? Uh, hey. Miss Johnson, I can't say your first name. All day. No, say her first name right there. I want to talk about that. Oh, <laughs> Faquana, Faquana. Let us say Faquana, Faquana, Faquana Johnson. You eat the soup all day. I think you can eat as much as you want, but that's all you eat. It fills you up. I love juicing. It's very convenient, and you can consume all the good things, nutrients. Okay. So, what if we do? I, I like the cabbage soup thing. Because you, you can eat it all day. <laughs> See? It's, I have to pick something that's more realistic for me. I mean, cabbage soup, fine, because you eat cabbage. And you can make it good. Yeah, I can do a cabbage soup. And juice in between. Mm -hmm. You had the sleeve 10 years ago? And how much weight did y'all... For the ones who tried the cabbage soup, how much weight did y'all lose on the cabbage soup? She said apple cider vinegar, ginger root, turmeric, pineapple, grated, boil it, morning, night, morning, night, every day. I do it now. Lost 20 pounds in two months. See, I'm trying to lose 20 pounds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I could just do the cabbage soup with the with the juicing and the smoothies. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's more realistic. Are you still gonna go to the gym? Yes. I'm still gonna go to the gym. Now as far as the military thing, I don't know. But there's too many things on this I don't really like. And I can see you you losing weight on it too. But the cabbage soup, you just need the cabbage, the celery, the carrot. Your little herbs, your onions, your lemon, your garlic, and just juice. And um, probably do me like some little tea still in between. How long are we going to do how to do that though? How long are we eating like this? It's up to you. Maybe That's you what I'm saying. Like, like, you should do it for like a week, two weeks, and see how much weight you lose. Do it for two weeks and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, it would be good to add that meat. You'll need the protein working out. I'd rather add a protein powder. I really just want to get off of meat altogether. One week. All right, we're going to start our cabbage week. Our cabbage soup with smoothies Monday. Because it still kind of go hand in hand with the veganism, but it's cooked instead of raw. You eat more than cabbage soup on the cabbage soup diet. Look for the original version. It will tell you what to eat on each day of the diet. I hope your dog likes cabbage. You in? Kim says she in. Who else in? Who else participating? Do grapefruit juice and drink water two times your weight if you can. I would. It would be harder. To, if, you know what? That's crazy because I got some water bottles today. Let me show you my water bottles. Now, I have showed these to um, my women, my sisters, and my women empowerment group. And I don't know if any, my phone's going to get ready and die. I don't know if anybody in the women empowerment group bought any. But these, it's my, you see my charger? Oh, get that. These were on my, um, and bring me that orange cord, Kayla, so I can talk, put 
fucking my phone up. But these was on um hey bookie doll. These was on um Sheen on a flash sale for two dollars. For two dollars. They was two dollars and sixty seven cents. And I'm gonna show y'all what I what I got for two dollars. And when I saw the sale, when I saw the sale, I shared the sale. Oh, sorry, you guys. Okay, that means drop you on the ground. But when I saw the sale, I shared the sale with my sister. So let's look at the front of it first. Oh my god. My my camera's not flipping over. Okay. <laughs> This the front of it. It got 7 a.m. Rise and shine. 9 a.m. Let's get started. 11 a.m. Remember your goal. 1 p.m. Keep it up. 3 p.m. Halfway there. 5 p.m. You can do this. 7 p.m. Don't quit now. 9 p.m. All in a day's work. Now, this was 267, right? So this is this is this one. How many ounces? These are 64. 64 ounces so it came with this one it came with this one which this one is a 25 ounce and it also has different times 8 to 2 get started remember your goal keep chugging don't give up almost there you did it and then It has another one that also has little motivational things on the front. And this one is a 10 ounce. Yes, and this was on Sheen for $2.67 for the whole three piece set. All of this for under $3. Diane, uh, Miss Sanders, did you see it? It was two sixty seven, and then when I went back on there, they was back on sale again for a dollar sixty seven. I was so mad, and it got the straw. It got two straws to come with it, and I, I got that one and I got the black. And every time I see little deals like that with my group, um, artistic one that you see it when I posted it in the group, I had showed y'all these and I had showed y'all the um little workout shoes that I got for seven dollars. For the gym, my little gym shoes. So this is just like that one, but it's black. Sixty-four ounce. Twenty-five ounce. You got a girl, trust me, when you ain't got nothing. I love my little Sheen house. And this is a 10 ounce. Because when I first saw it, I was like, where the rest of my stuff at? And then I opened it up. Didn't know I didn't. I picked up, you did see the shoes though? It was with the, it was posted with the shoes. I had, I had said the Sheen flash sale. I don't know. Maybe you just didn't, I don't know. Maybe you didn't see it that day. But y'all, I be anytime I find little deals like this, I try to share it with the women empowerment group. You said, "Oh, it's two dollars and five cent right now." Yeah, so you just found it on the um on Sheen right now. You can get this whole three set, this whole set of three for two dollars on Sheen right now. She in. You could have purchased those and sold them on your website. Well, I'd rather just tell y'all where they at. I could have. I could have, but I don't know. I don't be thinking like that. I'd rather just tell y'all where to go get them. I be trying to sell stuff that only I make, which that would help me out a lot, though, if I did do that, because I could have easily sold these for five or even ten. But I think if I, if by me telling y'all that y'all can go and get them by $2, for two dollars, y'all go on there and go ahead and get y'all some, and that way we can just do this together. Said Timu had some too, so yeah, get these, y'all. Two dollars right now, they on sale for two dollars, two oh five. 
And I and then that's cheaper than what I paid. Both of these. They got other colors too. They got other colors. I could have. I ain't think it said you could have blinged them out. I sure could have. Girl, don't make me get the dumb girl. You could have blinged them out and sold them for more. I sure could have. Y'all don't don't get my brain started. Please don't. Don't get my brain started. Because I'll be sitting here having my little lockdown. And then, for you know, here I am and ordered a uh, damn $100 worth of cups off the of sheen. And now I got to bling them all. And then y'all let me waiting four months for them because I don't want to put all the diamonds and shit on them. So now I ain't even going to put myself through that. I ain't going to put y'all through that now. <laughs> no, that's, six, that's 64 ounce kind of big there, okay? I, I don't want 10 orders of those. So now, no, that's okay. Uh-uh. Then y'all be talking shit. She's scamming. She's taking our money and not sending our shit. I've been waiting four months. I ain't shit. No. I'm still trying to get shit out now. Let's just be real here. I ain't even gonna do that to y'all love myself. No. No. I don't know. I probably ain't. I probably ain't finna do shit. I ain't finna go nowhere. I'm talking all this shit. Like, I'm finna go to the club. Baby, I'm probably finna go in here and take this little candlelight shower. My nose keep itching. Take me a little candlelight shower. And, um. Chill with Albert. Man. Cons are talking about this song called Keeping the Faith. Bling the 10 ounce, I can see that. That that, that may be realistic. <laughs> Blinging the 10 ounce may be realistic, but that 64 ounce, uh, it, it ain't realistic. It ain't realistic. Hi, Miss J. Buy them, start them ahead of them, then sell when they are done. Pre make them. Yeah, I could do that too. I could do that too, especially if I get to losing weight around this junk. Egg, I'm like, well, I don't blame what you doing over there losing weight. Then I could be acting like I'm just like this weight loss specialist. And then just, okay, I'm doing it again. My mind is just taking this to a whole nother level that it doesn't have to go to. I always do this. I become impulsive and I start to act and I just start to dream extremely big. And then, for you know what, I just jumped out there in some water trying to just take on all this shit to just be overwhelmed. And let's just not do that. Let's just start. Let's let's start with the creativity ideas. Let's do nothing. Let's do that. Let's do nothing. We on lockdown. Let's do nothing. Let's work on the shit I already got to do. Let's do that. Let's get Miss Brown finished. Let's get Miss CC finished. Let's get Miss Cherie Bell finished. And then once we are completing, everybody has their journals, their albums. And, you know, there whatever other orders that still needs to go out or, or even raffles, even some fucking raffle orders goes out. <laughs> then we can start something else. But because I am constantly coming up with these different ideas and just jumping out there, I am constantly biting off more than I can chew and this really deteriorating my character and my customer service is sucking ass and I have to slow down and complete the task I already have at hand and then we can try something different so as of right now I am not going to do any more ventures. I'm not. I'm not. Right now I have a website where I can create and sell whatever. I have purses that I still haven't started on. I have plenty of nail tips and I need to really, you know, um, get new nail options available like I, I need to really focus on a lot of things that I have already gotten off the ground like I need to really focus on building the my women empowerment group like I had at first I had like 50 members now I have like 22 24 members 
and I probably only talked to like four. So I, I, I have all these different ventures that I've already created that I need to just zone in on and get off the ground before I... What I'm going to do is, anytime I have a really super bright idea that I want to play with, I'm going to just write it down. I'm going to just write it down and just keep it to myself. And once I am done with the previous task and I need something else to do. Y'all see, see, see my fingers. Ah, okay. Okay. Is that my sister now? <laughs> but uh, once we finish the previous task, we will start a new task. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> right, positive queen. How can you not know there's no gas? Usually the gas meter will tell. The gas meter was broke. Lemongrass soap and the eucalyptics. Ooh, girl. Shower bomb is everything. But see, what shower bomb? You know what? That's what I was thinking, Miss Jordan. You got a lot going on, but just go ahead and buy the cups. And know you're going to eventually sell them. Now, I think that would be a great idea. I should go ahead and buy the cups. Share with you guys about the cups. And then... By the time I make it to the Cubs, their sale will probably be gone. And they'll seem like something new again. And Well, they will be new something new again. Then I can put my twist on them. And they ain't going to be like, girl, I ain't going to give you that because I can just go over here for $2. No, you can't go over here for $2 because they was $2 five months ago. So, yes. Okay, I got you. I got you. See, that's why we vibe. That's why we vibe the way we vibe because y'all get me. Y'all understand me. Like... Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Thank you, um, Miss Carly. Carlita. I got a song I want to record tonight. It's called Keeping My... I'm going to do it on my lock-in. I'm going to get up, lock my door. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing that I need, though. I really need to dump my tanks. I need to go ahead and fill my black tank up with water, dump it, dump my shower tank. Because I think I could take like three showers before I have to dump my shower tank. Dump my shower. I'm going to clean up my trailer real good. Dang, I need some more black glitter. So I was finishing up on some stuff. But my I ran out of black glitter. I really need some black glitter. Maybe I'll get out a little while in the morning since my kids got their car fixed now. So I can kind of like dip off. Go to Walmart, give me some glitter. And probably just be going live on my creative channel. Like, I really need to put my grabbers on my website. Now, I don't have my grabbers on my website. Now, I have... That's really sad because I've been buying a lot of bees for the, for the grabber. How did you buy your RV? I'm thinking about going that route. Well, my credit sucks. So, I had to put... A lot of money down. Like I had to put fourteen thousand down. Yes, you can get along. You're new. Welcome, Miss Green. I had to put fourteen thousand down on my trailer, but I pay, and it's still, and that's what it's still being financed. I'm um paying four twenty five a month for my insurance. I was paying like. At first, it was like one eleven, and then it went up because I wound up having to switch when I left and came back to Memphis because I had to change my address. But I don't know. I think I, I can't remember because I just recently paid it off for the year, which was like 1100 So I'm not paying no more insurance on it because I know I already just paid the insurance on off for the rest of the year. But I'm just paying 425 on the trailer. Yeah. I'm paying four twenty five on the tour, on the trailer, and usually when I go to a campground, like the campgrounds can be anywhere from four hundred dollars a month to eight hundred dollars a month to fifteen hundred dollars a month. It depends on how nice it is and the location and 
what type of different amenities and stuff that they offer. And the most that I've ever paid at a campground was like eight thirty five, which is one time. The most I most I've paid is eight hundred. So um, I give my parents eight hundred dollars for being parked here because I feel like if I was you know, somewhere else on the campground. How long do you have to pay on it? Um, I think... I don't know. Don't let me lie. I don't know. Probably, like... I don't know. How, how often do I have to pay on it? If I'm paying 400 for 10 months, that's 4200 Right? 4200 And I put 14000 down. And the trailer was, like... 38,000 and then it was 42,000 with financing so do the math on that yeah it was like 40 right at 41 42,000 total so what's that like and then I already put 14,000 down to take that 14,000 off of the 42 which leaves me with a total of what 10 off of the 42 and put me at 32 then four off of the 32 put me at what 28 so i owe 28,000 and i'm paying 425 and i've had it for a year this month so i've already put 4,000 towards that 28 so i owe about 20 so only like a couple of years only like a couple of years and i'll be done Mm -mm. Four years probably too. Long. It's four. Years. Four years is too long, right? I don't know. I'm finna pay this John off though. Yeah, I'm finna. I'm finna pay this John off, cause I really want to give me something bigger. So I think next year. I'm going to upgrade to a fifth wheel. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade to a fifth wheel because I really want the washer and dryer connections. And I want one that has another bathroom. And I ain't going to lie, I was really excited about having an island. Like, I really wanted an island to be in my trailer. But now that I have the island, I no longer want the island. Like, I no longer want the island. I really would rather have the open space instead of the island being in the floor. Like, I really wish the sink was on the side somewhere and I could just have the, the whole center of the floor. If you don't mind me asking, what was your credit when you bought it, girl? You, I do mine. <laughs> I do mine. Let's just say I can't even get a credit card at Kohl's, girl. I can't get a credit card at Kohl's, boo-boo. Just know to say that. And every motherfucking body can get a card at Kohl's. But bling. I can't get a card at Kohl's. <laughs> so let's say that. Okay. Well, do you want to get a credit card for the extra 20% off? No. I ain't even waste your time or mine, lady. I ain't even finna waste neither one of our time. So just, you know what? Just don't ring me up. You want to sign up for the rewards? Am I going to get a discount right now if I sign up? No? Okay, no, I'm not interested, ma'am. I'm not interested. You said 635. You're doing way better than me. Okay. <laughs> You're doing way better than me. Uh-uh. No. No, ma'am. So, yeah. So, you probably won't even have to put this type of change down like me. So you you probably with a six thirty five girl, you probably can go in there and just, you know, go in there with a nice little um you know, little check slip or something. Oh yeah, it, it should've gave you a lot of hope. Yeah, it should've gave you a lot of hope. So yes. But I don't wanna at first I was gonna trade this one in but I don't think I want to trade this in. I think I'm going to just go ahead and pay this one off and just get me another one. I'm either going to give this one to my mom or put it in storage because my mom really loves camping. 
And I really want to give this one to her. I do. I feel like it's perfect for her. It's a perfect getaway for her. You know, all of our, all I would have to do is just, you know, tow it up. My brother could tow it for her every now and again down to, you know, Mississippi for her to sit out there and everything in here is up to date. It's fully functional. And I would give her this one and I would just go ahead and give me another one and just make this like an awesome gift to her. You know, so she can have it because I she was initially into this lifestyle before me. Yeah, she still got her trailer and she ain't doing nothing with it. Because her trailer is an older trailer. And it needs a lot of work. And this one right here is already fully functioning. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it got enough space for her, her dog. Everything's electric. So, I already know how to set it up by myself. So, I can, um... He said, did you pay cash or did you get a loan for your down payment? No, ma'am, I paid cash. I paid cash. That was a, a whole journey for me. Like, I wasn't even sure if I was going to even have the whole cash. Like, I would never forget this lady, Deborah Gibson, one of my supporters. Son, like, I don't even want to talk about that. But if you if you were following me for a long time, like, you would have saw. If you go back and watch some of my older videos, it shows when I was in my old, my first trailer and the, the emotions and all different things that we went through to get to this trailer and then the truck. And like I said, this has been a long, long journey. Like a long journey. So, yeah, I paid cash, but it, it wasn't no, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my old trailer. Oh, my God. I used to get mad when folks would call my old trailer so small and cramped up. I'd be like, let me tell my trailer. My trailer good. As long as I got a bathroom. I was, I was stay saying it. As long as I got a bathroom. As long as they can wash their ass. As long as we can wash dishes. As long as we can cook. As long as I got a bed. I'm good. I'm straight. I ain't ready about it. So, I just, you know, was always looking at the positive. Uh, you said you was there when I sold my furniture. Yeah, I always was looking at the positive. And, um... You know, but I remember Woods would always tell me about how the newer trailers look. And I had no idea that the other trailers looked like this until we were in Texas. And one of the neighbors let me come in and look at their trailer. And when I walked in and saw they had like some stairs to a bathroom and saw they had you know, recliners and ceiling fans and the table. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, when I saw that, I was like, this trailer is coming like a little house. Whereas to my trailer was the, the first trailer. Yeah. The first trailer was nothing like this trailer. The first trailer, and it, it oh my God, it was me. The kids, the dog, or husband, we was pulling it with a um suburban. Oh my god. So that's how that's the reason why I had to hurry up and upgrade my truck because when we got this one when we got this one, um this one is nine thousand pounds dry. So I knew that the suburban couldn't pull this. We needed something to be at least a 250. But I remember when that man had called me back. When that man had called me back and um told me that I could pull $14,000 down to get this trailer, I just did not see it. I, I did not see no way under the sun. Sorry, I don't know why I'm shaking. I did not see any way under the sun for me to get this trailer. I did not see it. Like, it was just... Because y'all know, at first, they had told us that we was approved. Like, if you watch the journey, they had told us me the paper. We didn't took the picture with the paper and everything. We were like, oh, my God, we approved. We finna get ready to get this trailer. I done made the announcement on social media. Everybody talking about how Blaine finna get this new trailer. And, you know, we had vlogged it. Everybody like, I wonder which one did they pick. And da 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 I find a bank that was going that was willing to finance us. Based off you Yeah, I must have came on this live and cried for so long. I was so hurt. 
I was so hurt <laughs> when I when I thought I was not gonna get this trailer, and they I had so many of my supporters telling me, "Bling, then maybe it wants me for you. It's probably a better one out there for you." And uh, it was so frustrating because I had hyped my kids so You know, my kids was excited because we was gonna get ready and moving this trailer. And I had already told my supporters that I was gonna moving this trailer, so it was looking as if I was just bullshit it was just oh man it was uh it was a moment yes i was very emotional i was oh my god i was just crying because i had already made up my mind you know i had i had i had it stuck in my head you know that i was gonna have the stones that i was gonna Refrigerator's like, oh my god, it just it just seems so unreal that this trailer was gonna be mine. You know, it was just ah, uh, it was so unreal. So when they denied me, I had just gave up on it. And then the man called and he was like, um, you know, we see how that 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 beautiful forty feet do the trailer, and then, you know, you put fourteen thousand down, da da. And I was like, hell no, I ain't gonna pay fourteen thousand. Got no fucking fourteen thousand dollars. I got fourteen thousand. So me, Jeremiah, and Carlos, and Elijah was in the car in Texas. It keeps buffering. I don't know why it's doing it. Is it coming through clear now? Is my video coming through clear? I'm itching, y'all. My sinuses are bothering me really bad. That's how I keep seeing me constantly scratch my ear. It's clear? Okay. But me, Jeremiah, and Carlos was in the car. I remember we was taking Woods to work when he was working at the warehouse. When the man had called. And I don't know, some type of way I had got to... Sometimes way I had got to talking to Jeremiah and Carlos about it. I can't even remember exactly how it went. But we had came up with some type of master plan on how we were going to get the trailer. <laughs> I don't know how it went. I can't even remember what we agreed on. But we agreed that, you know, we was going to do something i can't remember anyway i had told them what if i saved this and got some money from here and did this and we sold it i don't know sometimes way me and the kids sitting in the car we was trying to figure out a, a way for us to get the trailer and i said okay and i told woods who's gonna go for it and woods is like do you understand what you're saying he like fourteen thousand. he like fourteen thousand is a lot of money he was like fourteen thousand. I was like, I said, no, it's not. <laughs> I said fourteen thousand ain't that much. We can do it. <laughs> I was like, we can do it. We can come up with fourteen thousand dollars. He was like, how the hell are we gonna come up with fourteen thousand, man? We can come up with fourteen thousand dollars, man. We can come up with it. We ain't gotta do. Oh no, we was just. Oh my god, it was just an emotional roller coaster. It was an emotional roller coaster. Like, I don't even, it was so crazy. I can't even remember exactly how it all went. But anyway, long story short, we did it. We did it. We did it. We put the 14000 down. Yes, they would come up with a plan. Because they was excited about the trailer. I was so happy when they see it for the first time like that was just a beautiful thing because i had kids really need to be around other kids like if they were younger children need to interact with other children and people would tell me that all the time and i was so mad y'all make sure y'all hitting that like button now people would get so mad all the time i, I would get mad all the time i mean people would say that i'd be like no they good they homeschooling we traveling we learn I don't know what's wrong with this thing. I do not know. Yeah, the service is bad. I see it's constantly going in and out. I don't know why I'm closer to the house over here. I'm ready for my phone to get here, y'all. 
I bought a new phone, but it won't be here until the end of next month. So this is all I got for right now. Yeah, this is all I got. Because I see my viewers keep going up and down, up and down. I guess when I'm clear, my viewers be coming in and going up. When I get the buffering and stuff, they get the falling off. Like, oh no, she freezing. I'm out of here. Ugh. I'm ready to take my shower, though. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going to no club or none of that. I guess I'm finna get off, y'all. Because my internet don't want me to be great. I know for sure, though, I am going to go live on my Creations channel. I am going to go live on my Creations channel. What I'm going to be creating, I don't know. I don't want to lie. But... I am going to be... Your phone died. Even it's not my phone. Keep going in and out. I don't know. It's going to be over the weekend. I'm, I'm going to be in this junk till Monday. And then the kids got fall break coming up. I wish I could have went to the fair, though. I really do. The fair is here. The fair is here. And I really wanted to go to the fair. Like, I really wanted to just do, like, a grown-up date. Like, maybe just go to the fair but i don't it doesn't look like i want to make it i'm just glad you're horizontal and not vertical me too miss doug do you know they just made this an option they just made this an option because i like because i know a lot of people watch me on the tv and when you see me like this i'm able to take up the entire tv versus just being in the little box i did not like that so I'm just really happy that I'm able to start back going live. So now before I go live, they give me the option to pick if I want to go vertical or if I want to go um, horizontal. And I pick horizontal because this is my favorite way to go live. Like, <clears throat> this is my favorite way. Like, it's cool for people who watch me on the phone, but for like my people who watch me at home on the TV, they can watch me, you know like watch me watch me but i'm telling y'all as soon as this phone get here as soon as this phone get here y'all not gonna be constantly being stuck in the trailer with me okay because i know i'm stuck in the trailer all the time because i got to be around wi-fi because i'm waiting on this phone to come in the mail but as soon as this phone come in the mail we're gonna open up this phone together and then we're gonna start going outside we gonna start going outside. Am I looking forward to being out here in the cold? I'm not, cause last year, when it was getting cold, I was still warm. So I'm finna be cold this year. I was really enjoying it. December, November, January, February. I'm sitting outside, burning wood with my shorts on, going fishing. Everybody else cold, and I'm still warm. I'm sorry, but just count it as a loss. Count what as a loss? Count what as a loss? Hey, Miss Prima. Are you talking about the the um? You talking about the the uh, car? You said you was not outside. I said we gonna go outside. I'm going to start being able to go live going places then. Because a lot of people been asking me, like, when we going to go to the thrift store? When we going to go to Dollar Tree? When we going to see some parts of Memphis? When we going to, you know, do a lot of different stuff? So, But the good thing, I can take y'all to the gym with me because the gym has Wi-Fi. V8 juice can be used instead of canned tomato sauce in your cabbage soup. Okay. Thank you. And somebody else was telling me about their um naked juice. Was telling me to try the naked juice. That is good and fulfilling. I don't know. It's like when I tried the naked juice, it was too sweet. I like when I was traveling too, Queen. Now I feel like I'm just so boring. I do. I feel like I'm just so boring. Like, I have lost probably, like, 40 subscribers in the past two days. I've lost, like, 40 subscribers. I know because they tired of me just sitting my ass in this box and just talking all the time. Yeah, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just sitting in here doing this. So, 
Hopefully, by the time this phone gets here, I can start um, doing more things. I think this BBL journey is going to be very interesting. Yeah, I think this BBL journey is going to be very interesting. Because I plan on taking y'all with me every step of the way with it. So, like, right now, we're starting the weight loss. Because I have to get 20 pounds off. I have to get... Oh, my God. This internet is doing it again. I know how people be telling me, they're like, Bling, I'm going to still watch and chill with you. I know, but it was so much funner when we was on the road. How do you think you've been doing? Um, what do you mean, like, far as what? Donnie, I'm scared, but you finna ask me. I don't want to talk. For how I've been doing far as what? Fires with Queen. Wait, okay. <laughs> I just give just a person the question. Um, I have not been doing well. I don't know, honestly, because some people was telling me that muscle is heavier than fat. So, but at first I had lost like seven pounds. Then I gained a pound. Now I've gained another three pounds. So technically now I've only lost three pounds. Is I've only lost three pounds, so that's not good. It's not good at all. But I know what it is. I'm constantly eating milkshakes. I'm constantly eating milkshakes, and I'm gonna sell these chicken tenders and stuff that I like. Hi, Scorpy, Scorpy. Make protein shakes. We finna do this cabbage soup. Oh my god. I think the internet keeps going in and out right now because there's so many people in the house on the internet. All the kids are in there playing games and on their phone. And everybody's just connected to the same Wi-Fi. I need to get my own super Wi-Fi. I don't even know if I can do that though. I need to see. I don't know, but I want to start doing different things. I've been doing a lot of shopping. <sighs> I'm excited to see how this weekend finna be though with this lock, this, this this second lockdown. I don't know. Finna lock my dough though. Finna lock my dough. Take my shower. Relax. Because I felt so much better. Don't go by yourself. Don't go where. Thank you. I love you too, Miss Pamela. Don't go by yourself. Don't go where by myself. Take Riri. Take Riri where? Are you talking about the surgery? I don't know. I see Riri just started a new job. So... I don't know if she's going to be able to take off and go with me. Which I've already paid for the plane tickets. But I did pay for like their little insurance. Like an extra $50 just in case I need to make any changes or cancellations to my flight. But I really need to get my information up. I'm 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 not really informative like I should be for this surgery. I'm not that informative. Like I know... The surgery is scheduled for the 16th, but I'm arriving on the 14th. I know you have to come in a day before the surgery, so I don't know if I'm coming in on the 15th or if I'm coming in on the 16th, and the surgery is on the 17th. Um, and then I know they want you to stay for like a minimum of seven days. And I only booked the flight for seven days. Started on the 14th. And me coming back on the 21st. So I don't know if my seven days need to start from the first day of from, from the actual surgery. Like, I, I really need to get some more information. Do you still do your morning meditation? I don't. I do not do my morning meditation. I really need to start doing my morning meditations again. Like, for real. Hey, Miss Crystal. I really do need to start back doing it. 
Because I really enjoy doing it. We can start back doing it. For real. But I'm going to have to start early. Or I'm going to have to start after I'm done riding the kids. Get up, turn on our little meditation music. You know, read our scriptures. Have our. Co- Are we doing coffee? Can we have coffee? Can we have coffee? That's going to be so hard for me. Because I have. I don't know how to. Ugh, I haven't had no coffee without a cigarette. I haven't had no coffee without a cigarette. This ooh wee. Hi, um, Miss Pate. That's gonna make you want a cigarette. But I, I really enjoyed them though. I think we should start back. Let's start back Monday. Let's start back Monday. Oh, we can start. I don't want to say in the morning because I don't be getting. I know I ain't going to get up in the morning. I ain't going to lie. What lockdown? I'm on a lockdown. You know, last weekend I did a lockdown where I locked my door and I don't come out. I don't let nobody in and I don't go out. Now, before I do this lockdown, I try to make sure I have everything that I need in here. Like, I try to go ahead and dump my tanks, like my poop tank, my shower tank. Make sure I have everything I need in the fridge and you know and just stay in here and i just do me like last time i had cleaned up my trailer really nice i had cleaned my floors organized some things i had got a lot of orders done i had i just really just had a ball i had like a candlelight shower like i was just really overwhelmed from ripping and running so much and it's just so beautiful because even though i went through this stuff with this car I am going to have some relief and it's even more relief for the weekend because now they can show enough, take themselves back and forth to work so I can really just, you know, lock myself in. But basically when the kids come to the door, if it's not a life or death situation, I do not open it. I'm just, um, uh, don't shoot me, but if we can't go with you to the surgery, just take woods. I'm just saying black coffee and one cup. Okay, but um, I ain't even gonna talk on them. It's good when I talk about woods, I lose subscribers. <laughs> I lose subscribers when I say that by name. Uh uh-uh. uh, uh-uh. uh, hey, Miss Alice. So, like, even though I'm vaping, I need to put this down too, but it's 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 kind of like helping me when i do have the nicks when i do have the nicks i can just hit it and be cool for a little while till i want to hit it again and i like the fact that i don't have all the smoke in my thing and this doesn't have my breath all stanky because it has a fruity smell and taste no not no government lockdown a bling lockdown a mummy lockdown a, a take a step back cut the world off lockdown me I don't take no phone calls I don't go nowhere. Oh, I'm going somewhere tomorrow, though. I think I need to go and get some black glitter. I need some acetone. And this it. Like, I already messed my nails up because I was messing with some glitter and stuff today. But I really, really want to do myself a facial. The doctor will let you know they do that on purpose. So, patients want wounds. Um, stressed out but i did get my avocado i have my avocado let me show y'all my avocado i went ahead and ordered it now what i haven't gotten yet are my fajas i still need to find my um fajas but like i've been i've been um like on instagram looking at different stages of fajas like i don't even know where to start with that either far as like the fajas but show you my avocado. I do have my avocado. Show you my avocado. I really don't want to unfold it because I don't think I'm gonna be able to fold it back up. But this is the avocado. Basically, it's a large 
slice of avocado. It's a floaty. I don't want to unfold it because I know I'm not going to be able to fold this back up. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to fold this back up. And I need to be able to pack this when I go to Miami. Okay? And it has like a little beach ball for the little centerpiece that'll be in the avocado. But if you guys go on Amazon, look up. I can't get that back in there. Look up the avocado floaty. And basically, what I'm what I would need that for is after I have my surgery, that is what I would put in the bed to be comfortable. <laughs> so I would put like my booty in the hole and then be able to kind of like lean on the ball so I won't lay on my stomach. Like, because y'all gotta look at I'm getting a BBL and a tummy tuck at the same time. So, like, usually when you get a BBL, you can lay on your stomach. And since I can't lay on my stomach, I can't, lay on, I can't sit on my butt. So, like, when I was trying to figure out how do I rest, I, I, I do my research. I see a lot of women get the avocado. Now, the only question I haven't answered yet is how am I going to sit on the plane? Because I know you can't sit on your butt. I know you can't sit on your butt. I will ask your, your clinic if you can fly seven days after surgery and would be okay to fly along with other questions you have. I'm saying I don't know how I would sit on the plane. Like, they require you to stay in Miami a minimum of four days after surgery, but they really want you to stay seven. But I'm really thinking about just going to a recovery house because, like I said, looking at the recovery house, I'm able to just you know, pay one fee and have everything taken care of versus doing everything on my own and paying for everything individually. I don't know. But that's crazy. See, now you got my mind wondering, Mr. Doug. It's crazy you said that because y'all know when I used to when I used to talk about my BBL getting the getting the surgery, when I put my deposit down, I was still, you know, with the mister. And um make sure your vitamin d is, is in check okay and um you said so, you've seen so many women on their knees in the plane oh my god and i remember i was telling y'all that if i was in a situation where i had to like poop in a pan i would be comfortable only pooping in the pan if it was woods holding the pan like because when i initially when i initially started you know putting my down payment and doing my research and decided i was gonna go ahead and get this surgery that's who i initially thought was going to go with me but i feel comfortable with riri too I feel comfortable with her too, but I know she got her own life, so I don't want to just be constantly like dragging her around with me. So I think I'm just gonna do a recovery house. Probably just find one that'll pick me up from the airport, one that'll take me to my thing and back. But I I didn't want to be alone, and I don't want to make my daughter miss school because I'd be comfortable with my daughter too. But I don't want to make her miss school to go with me to get no damn BBL. I just feel like. That's not. The airline will require you to sit upright in the seat, or you can't fly. That's what I'm saying. Like I think, I think they put something like underneath their thigh. That's the only thing I can see. You putting like some type of roly poly pillow under your thigh, where your butt is kind of like lifted off the seat, or the donut thing. Like, do they still use donuts? But, like, even though I'm still hitting the vape right now, I'm going to have to put this down by October the 16th because, like I said, we cannot have any type of... We have to stop all nicotine. I think she said 30 days, which I don't hear. Some people say weeks, but I think it's best to wait, like, 30 days. And then another thing I'm worried about, my nipples still haven't healed from my piercings. So... 
my nipples still haven't healed. Like they're still leaking and everything. And I don't know how to, I don't know what to do because she told me I can't put no alcohol on them. She told me I can't put no peroxide on them, no type of ointment on them. So I only clean them with a little saline wound wash. But I do want them to be healed enough for me to be able to take them out, take my, my piercings out and put them back in. But I know this nicotine is really playing a part in my, my nipples healing because I know uh, nicotine slows down the healing process. So hopefully once I just come ahead and just be strong enough to just put this down. <clears throat> They said the recovery house, they could be rejecting. The recovery house is a great choice. My daughter did the same thing, and she was good. They took great care of her. Miss Doug, can you please give me the information to whatever recovery house that she used? You may need to stay wherever you are at least a week and have someone drive you home in the SUV. Now, that's what somebody else suggested. Woods had suggested that he was like just fly there and then just let me drive you back. But that's a very long time to ride in the car and just have one person drive, and I feel like that's a lot on one person. Unless it's two people. Have you tried sea salt in the tea tree oil? That's what I use for my person. No. What do you mean sea salt? And tea tree oil, because I got some of that too. Tell me more. Because, like, they still leaking. Like, right now, I can't even put a brown. I can't even put a brown because they, they hurt. My daughter uses sea salt water mix. Uh, uses sea salt water mix for hers, too. I ain't never heard of it. So, you get some sea salt mixed with some water. And clean it, bling. Do you have sensitive skin? Very sensitive. It's time for it's good for the piercings. I use it too for mine. Hey, Scorpio, Scorpio. So how do I? You need the whole back of the SUV to lay down. So that's what I'm saying. Oh my lord. But when I was watching them women on YouTube, because y'all know I be up all night on YouTube watching everybody else's story and experiences. It's like on their fifth and sixth day, they be up moving around like might need to eat more lean meat so your nipples can heal. Might want to just go stay with the clinic too. Now you know what? When they sent me my little pre operative my little pre I don't know if I'm saying it right, but they sent me like a this little packet in the in my email, you know, saying, Hey, you at your sixty day marks before your surgery and, you know, they were saying that I should, you know, eat, like, lean meats and beans and stuff like that. So, but I don't know. For some reason, I just don't believe it. I don't know why. I just don't believe. I just do not believe that meat help you heal. I don't believe that. I don't know why. I just don't believe that meat helps you heal. It seems like fruits and vegetables should help you heal because I feel like meat is just so bad and toxic for the body. To me, it just seems like it makes so much more sense to eliminate meat and just do no meat for your body to heal faster. Like, because even fasting, when you eat nothing, it helps like heal your body, like break down. Um, It break down dead cells and stuff like that. Dissolve with hot water, a little sea salt, and a few drops of tea tree oil. Put it in a spray bottle. Use three times a day. Okay. Try the sea salt. It worked wonders. Hers was rejected, and it turned around in a week. That's what I need. Because I'm talking about right now, I can't even put no brown. Hey, everybody in Bling Lady B will be your body. Will your body heal at the same time, at the same rate as your breasts? I'm just wondering if they aren't healing as fast for your body to heal like this as well. I don't know. Blaine, you may need to reschedule. I don't know if you're ready to see it. You're scaring me. I don't want, I don't want to reschedule. I'm ready to be fine. Fine. I'm ready to be fine. Fine. I probably do need to reschedule. 
I was ready to cuss. Why you like that? Why are you like that? Yeah, that's my sister. She just called me. I just ignore her phone call because I'm on live. I'm on live, Miss Powell. Real talk, your breasts are speaking to you. My breasts so have not healed and they are so sore. Meat carries more negatives than positives, parasites, toxins, etc. Sorry. Oh my god. I can't just do it like I can't get the same thing from like a protein shake. You gotta be ready mentally, bling. I don't think I'm ready mentally. Why not take your sister? She said she's gonna see if she can get off to go. Oh no, because October is right around the corner. I don't know. I want to kill my reschedule. I just know I, uh, the reason why I wanted to go ahead and do it in November was because I felt like it was, I'll be back in time for the holidays. And then once the tax season starts, which is in January. I don't I'm not doing nothing but taxes. I'm not doing nothing but taxes. January, February, March, I can't do nothing but taxes. And then I don't want to go and get it done right after tax right after tax season because that's when everybody and their mama be going right after tax season. You know how everybody be getting all you there when be getting their taxes. And everybody be down there buying ass. And I heard the whole, the hallways before, the wait time before. See, right now, I ain't all the, everybody done ran out of their little tax money right now. Ooh, what's that going on my, my, my thing? Hold on. Right now, everybody done ran out of their tax money. Something's going down my shirt. What is that? Yeah, everybody done ran out of their tax money. I'm sorry, I feel some crawling down my damn back. I ain't crazy. I said you don't want to be healing during hot weather. Are you still offering tax class? I really wanted to offer my tax class, but it's like the the young lady that I'm working under, she wasn't sure if she wanted to expand her um tax repairs okay you see you having your surgery a day after my birthday you don't want to be healing during hot weather check out why your breasts aren't healing first just to be sure you won't heal wrong i don't know but i talked to somebody and they said that um it took them a full year it took them a full year to um, for their breasts to heal. So, I haven't... I don't think I've talked to anybody. Like, is there anybody on here who has had a breast piercing and it actually healed in the six weeks period? Like, are there any women on here with their breast pierced? And if so, how long did it take you guys to heal? But I think it's from my... I think it's from the nicotine. I really do. Yours took two years to heal, exotic. Anybody else? And what was you cleaning yours with? No piercings healed in six weeks, in my opinion. It took me at least a year. See, that's what I'm saying. Everybody I didn't talk to them said it took at least a year. And I think, I don't even know how long I done had mine. I don't even think I'm six months in. Did it twice, took a year. I took mine out after two years because it was still stank and hurting. Yeah, that's how mine is. Mine was still hurting a long time ago. Hi, Miss Marie. Yeah, so I don't know. But I know I went through too much pain to take them out and can't put them back in. I love you too, Marie. I, I, I that's, that's my thing. Yes, mine was like two years. I clean mine with Dow soap. And see, I don't use Dow. I took my nose 
about a year to fully it took my nose about a full year to heal i think it depends on the individual when is the next album i don't know i'm supposed to be dropping a mixtape in two days but i don't see it i'm pretty sure that's going to be postponed i need to make that announcement as well so my daughter went to dr not miami oh, i'm scared to go over there if you had to take out if you have to take out for surgery make sure you put something in to keep open they close close quickly yeah, I know the antibacterial soap, but she was telling me don't use antibacterial soap. During surgery, do they have to remove them? I believe you do, because most surgeries, you always have to take all of your jury off. Travis Barr was a vegetarian. He was in the hospital for three months. He was putting his meat down the toilet and said he was eating meat. Doctors figured out why he was doing how he had to eat meat. Please bring those water bottles. They will make good Christmas <laughs> skills. Oh, okay. Tea tree oil. I don't know. I'm going to think about this for my little lockdown. I get on there and get the order and little stuff. I need to spruce my hair up, though. Find me a different hairstyle. I really like my little balls. They have plastic inserts you can put in place of the piercings. Okay. You know what? That's probably what I need to do. I probably need to take this metal out. And put the plastic in. Do you think that'll make a difference if I have some, maybe like a rubber piercing? But they so sore right now. I can't see me taking them out. I can't see. I, I can't see me even sliding them out and sliding some else through. I'm gonna try the salt, the sea salt water rinse with the tea tree oil and see. Like sometimes I be wishing. Sometimes it's just not it's not healing because God didn't intend for him, us to pierce him. Yeah, I think it's the metal. I think I need sometimes I be wishing I can just get like a bowl of warm water and like you said, maybe put this tea salt in it with tea tree oil and just stick my whole titty in the bowl. Just soak my shit. That's what I need to do. I need to just soak my whole tit in a bowl. They usually allow you to place a retainer, place a retainer for surgery. You may have to have another person change your jury. Take your mother with you to Florida. My mother can't ain't gonna go. You may not get them in. Don't remove them yet. Right. I'm gonna stick them in a the bowl. I'm finna find me some sea salt. That's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So when I go to Walmart, we tell my how we can get our uh the ones get my piercings to heal. When I go to Walmart tomorrow, I'm gonna get some black glitter. Some sea salt. And what else did I say I needed? Oh, shit. I forgot. Yeah, and feel, give me some warm water and put me some little salt water in and just stick my titty in there. Maybe put some peroxide in your bath water. I just saw something like this saying meat is important. I just don't believe meat is important. I just don't. I'm going to do the cabbage soup, though. We're going to do the cabbage soup. With smoothies and juice. I'm always way behind these lives. I'm still on the water bottle, right? <laughs> Put this solution on the cotton swab and let it sit. That's how I save my dermal. And it's a titty bowl, right? So now I got an ass towel and a titty bowl. <laughs> oh, I'm telling my kid, don't you put no cereal in there? <laughs> don't be cheap when it comes to healing your body you're a healthy woman you don't want any issues i got some saline wash though that i use but if i can make me a nice good potent mixture to really cleanse i was off meat for about four years and my body started tripping i eat chicken to calm down now just not beef or pork black seed oil Ass towel and the titty bowl, right? V, yeah, I have an ass towel. We're not finna go back to talking about the ass towel, it's not even. This is just not, let's just leave that where that's it. How about that? We just not, we not even finna go back to that part. Let's just leave that where it is, okay? Ah, I'm excited though, I'm ready. I'm getting ready for my lockdown over here, sister. I'm getting ready for my lockdown. And I got some new little PJs. 
Let me show you my PJs I got. Now, one of them, I, um, one of my PJs got in the dirty clothes because I had an accident. But let me show y'all my PJs I got from, um, Sheen. I actually forgot I had got all these. And show y'all my shoes I got too with my little hat. Because I had some more little boxes that came today. Now, this is the stuff that I ordered. Remember I told y'all on my last lock-in, when I had locked myself in, I was um in here ordering stuff on Sheen and ordering stuff on um Amazon. I need to burn. Oh my god, I need some stitch y'all on. Salt will burn. I need to. Oh my god. Okay. So first I got this little set here. I'm a big old woman. Don't judge me, okay? So this is the bottom. The short. These are PJs. Perfect for my little lockdown. And these are a 2X. And I think all these pajamas was like 5 and $6 a set. And they was on the flash sale. Yeah, I do them. It, it depends on what all we have to do. Yeah, these are all five and six or six. These are some more little Halloween. These are the shorts. Yes, sister, they on Sheen. I be telling you. The little tank top, little crop top with shorts. I don't think none of them was over six dollars. Nan said it was over six dollars. These are perfect for my little lock-in. Do you have a code? No, I ain't got no code. I just be shopping, girl. I wish I did. I need to find me. I need to figure out a way to get me a damn code. So when I get out, when I can take my little candlelight bath, I'm going to put one of those on. But I want to show you my little tennis shoes I got. And my sandals too. These are just so dope to me. My kids say they not, but I think they are. Look at these. I just thought these were so cute. And then, guess what else I found? A matching hat. See, sister, you was going crazy over the 80s stuff. I found me a 90s. Yeah, they go, don't they? Don't they go? <laughs> I was like, that is too cute. I can wear that hat one of my little wigs. It is giving in living color. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to wear with it. I'll find some. I just saw them shoes and really wanted them. And then I saw that hat. I was like, that look just like them. Um, look. 
just like them all. Now, these are some little workout shoes that I found for seven dollars. They just some soft shoes. Yeah, I got a big feet. I'm a I'm teamy living, okay? I'm team Amazonia. I'm teamy living. So yes. These was a size, these was seven dollars. And I also got these on the flash sale. And I got these just to wear with me when I wear when I go to the gym. And hold on, my little ball falling. Even though this ball been through. This ball been been out of there. But yeah. Okay. And then I got these. Like these are just so cute to me. I got this color. I got black. And I got pink. It's a little fussy. I don't know. I had a neon green color too. But... They were sold out before I could check out. So I wasn't able to get the green ones. But I had all the colors. I had the orange, the green, the pink, and the black. Yes. And this is a size 11, boo-boo. Okay? I'm, I'm Amazonian. This is size 11. And they are so comfortable, y'all. So comfortable. Let me show y'all the black ones. Yeah, now I posted though. Now I did post these in the Women in Power group too. Now I don't know if y'all saw them, but I, I posted them in the Women Empowerment group. I'm gonna turn y'all around. So since we just I'm here just having mean mini sheen calls. And I done put all of my overflowing of clothes in here. Not Amazon on she she in. I say sheen. Some people say she in, but I like to say sheen. And this is the black. The little strap in the back. They had, like I said, they had like some neon green ones I really wanted. But I'm gonna show y'all my um. I told y'all I was chopping my ass off. I was chopping my ass off. Put it right here. So I'm gonna show y'all my other stuff. <laughs> show y'all some of my little sets I get. Okay, so I see the internet doesn't want me to be great, so we're just gonna save this for another day. How about that? Let's just save the workout sets for another day, okay? Because y'all, baby, when I tell y'all, <laughs> I was finna sheen y'all ass to death. I was finna sheen in it. I been sheening it. Sheen the knee. We're gonna say that for another day. Okay, we gonna... Say that for another day. I ain't gonna do that this weekend though. <laughs> I ain't getting nothing else from Sheen, but I did just give me a whole bunch of um cute sweaters. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't lock the door yet. I thought I locked it down. You think you see? Okay, what you need? Some medicine? Okay, he already got you some medicine. Okay, well you just gotta go heal. Why you slam that for? Cause you Jeremy. You say you sick. 
You think you seek though? You got sick from Tootie. Yes. Because you ain't playing with Tootie. I wasn't playing with her. Yes, you was. No, I wasn't. Tootie sick, now you sick. I am not, I'm not isolate your comments. I mean, this your first comment. Okay, well, why you want to come stick your sick head in my trailer? Uh uh no 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 don't you come here <laughs> don't you come here what do you need what do you... so you already took some medicine mm. okay you need to go rest <laughs> go wash your hands now go wash your hands <laughs> and take you about ah oh, don't you come here <laughs> don't come here see that's why I I don't know why I ain't had this dope. <laughs> Don't go here now. Go here. You need to go here, baby. Go here. Go on, go take you. Go go take you. Uh uh. Uh uh. Go on now. Go take you a bell. Would you sit down? What you want me to do? You need to go rest. What make you think you sick? What you what's hurting you? What you feel like? You keep sneezing and your nose keep running. Y'all got them heebie-jeebies. You got the heebie-jeebies. You got two of the heebie-jeebies. Your head not hurting. Your head hurting anything? You done drunk some water? You hydrated? Okay. Okay. Uh-uh, he need mummy love and snuggies while he's sick. I don't want to be sick with you. I do not. I don't, Elijah. I'm going to get you some uh, vitamins. vitamins. You need some vitamins. Yes, you do. You need some for me, sister. You need some oranges. Let me get some oranges. You want some oranges? Let me get some oranges. You need some vitamin C. OMG. You need to go on lockdown. Just you. I don't want your sickness. I don't know. He probably did. He said he don't know if he's sick. But you think you see. What granddaddy give you? He gave me some um, oh, he You me smell some like Vicks. Yeah, uh, he gave me some green pills. He said he told me to uh, wash it down while I'm going to go walk. Did you swallow it? I swallowed it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Y'all need to cut that out. So he need a mummy hug while he sleep. I don't want your cooties. I have you have cooties. I you got cooties. I got cooties. Yes, you do, Elijah. I don't. Then oh. y'all be around all them little, them little baby kids in school. Huh? You probably can't go to school. Well, you ain't gotta go to school tomorrow. You wanna stay home? Uh -huh. Okay, you can stay home. But school is tomorrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you can miss that day. No, somebody he want to come in and give you a hug. No, I uh What you need? What do you need? I want to come in. Uh-uh, no, I don't. Get, get your face out my... I don't come in. What, no, you don't need to come in here. Yes, mom, you ain't going to get sick. Yes, I am. You... <laughs> I don't want it, Elijah. I don't want that stuff. Why I gotta suffer cause you out there running around all oh, uh I don't want it. Uh uh Oh no Oh you don't need to come here, Liza. You don't need 
too. For what? I ain't got no TV, no game, no nothing. I ain't got no TV. No, you don't have to watch me. <laughs> you don't have to watch me. You talking, you doing too much. Uh. Uh-uh. You ain't gotta come in. What? You just had some mess. You need to go take a bath. And rest. You know what? Your, why your nose probably running? Because you was out there on that water slide. That's what Granddad said. Because the water is too cold. Yeah, I told you it'd be too cold out there. You still need to take your bath and stuff, though. You go take your bath and then come back. Then I'll let you come in. Go on, go take your bath. Put your pajamas and stuff on. I think I is. I don't want me. Oh, I don't want it. Damn. That's how I start. One, get it. It's, it's finna travel. I can get ready. I can get ready. I'm finna get it. All the other kids are finna get it. Oh, it's in the house. It's in the house now. It's official. There's it's really no running from it. I might as well just go and let him in and just go and get my eyes on and out the way. Go and get my one out the way. I need to go and find me some type of um, immunity. Is everybody in the house sick? No, my niece is sick. My great niece is sick. And, um, yeah, that's my son. I'm finna let him in. A little bum. I'm finna let him in. But I'm gonna take his bath and stuff. Because he been running around outside all day with them little babies. A lot of little neighborhood babies, they've been all outside. But it's gonna happen though. It's, I might as well go and get prepared. Go and get prepared. And these balls keep falling. Yeah, I'm finna find me some uh, vitamin C for me and him. Probably make us a little airborne package. Probably going. So that's another thing to add to my list tomorrow black glitter, orange juice. Damn, I didn't already forget. Black glitter, orange juice, sea salt. There's something else missing. I don't know what it is. There's something else missing. I said it earlier on the live. I'm supposed to be getting some black glitter. He sound like he smell like he already got some vapor rub on him. What would he smell like? Man, smell like on that and already put some type of big on him or something. I don't know. He smelled he smelled minty. I got tea tree or emergency. Okay. I think I got some emergency in there. Oh, that's why I was telling Tootie I didn't want to get sick when she would come and want to ride everywhere. I told her, I don't want to ride. You can't ride everywhere. You finna pass this stuff. And then Tootie got a little cough. Acetone, right. Acetone. I need to write it down. I really, I really need to write it down for real. Acetone. Black glitter. Emergency. Sea salt. Orange juice. Okay. Yeah, daddy didn't get him some type of remedy in there. I'm really finna have to get off now, y'all. I'm finna have to go in here and see what I can find in this medicine cabinet. Yeah, he he already smelled minty. Make somebody to put some vapor rub or some bengay or something on him. Well, he either didn't got sick from Tootie. Or he didn't got sick from uh, being out there on that water slide. I don't know which one. Oh my God. And I'm talking about a lock in. I'm not locking his ass in here with me. No, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna have to leave some windows open. 
<laughs> and get my immune system stronger. Oh, God. I don't even know why I'm even fighting it because I already know I'm going to get it. Do you have a health food store near you? Hyasop isn't expensive. You can drink it, bathe in it. It's a natural healing property. It's good for colds as well as children and adults. He got Gatorade. No, he got no Gatorade. He wants mommy. Oh my god. He don't even be messing with me like that. Don't, 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 don't do that. That's not it. That's not it. I'm gonna let him hang out. Dang. Man, I don't want this stuff. Oh, oh my god. Let me. I don't. Let me. Cause I don't want to have to get this child. This child come in here, Jesus. Hmm. I don't want this stuff. What's, what's in here? Cause it, it, it's it's finna take over. What is this? Damn, you know, okay, that's trash. I know I got some. I got some. What's this? This for DMX. For Mucinex. Honey and berry flavor. Right? Got that. What's this right here? Do some little Theraflu. I got these little triple pack. But well, what do we got for a meal system? I'm kind of swollen right here, so. Emergency. Your friend finna take you. Yeah. Who? Excuse me, man. What store y'all going to? Community grocery. We just wanna get a are you alive? Yeah, I am. Community grocery. Alright. Y'all need y'all finna send some vitamins over there. Vitamins. Yeah, cause y'all got that shit. I don't have any. Yes, y'all do, it's coming. Okay. I'm feeling like a wild green. I'm finna have to go to all rings. Oh my god, I feel a sneeze coming now. I feel it. Oh my god. It's coming. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Thank you. Oh, man. It's coming. It's coming, y'all. Just that little brief talk at the door. All right, y'all, I'm about to get off. I'm about to get off because before, before I can go on lockdown, I need to um go and get some emergency packs before this ruins my whole little lockdown weekend because that's what it's going to do. It's going to ruin my, my whole little lockdown weekend. 
Uh, no, nah, I'm just playing though. Hopefully, that's just allergies for me, but I know it's coming for real though. <laughs> I know it's coming. Sound like a lot just back at the door. Hmm. But anyway, I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. I've been on this live for over two hours. So I don't doubt if anybody wants to see this part of the damn live anyway. So I love y'all. Because I look a mess. I love y'all. And I will check back in with you guys on tomorrow. At least you know how the rest of my night went. And how the lock-in is going for me. So I love you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Night.